What's up you guys? This is your girl Ebony and I'm gonna try to do a quick video. I don't know if it's gonna be as quick, but I wanted to come on here and talk and basically target this to the, to the ladies. Um the whole purpose of me making my YouTube channel was basically to show you guys how I'm doing with my mental illness which is depression and it's it's not major to a lot of people and it's not a big deal to a lot of people but people do live with mental illness and they do have to survive with it and what I mean by survive with it is that a lot of people most of the time are suicidal or homicidal depending on their moods or whatever they feel or what's bothering them so a lot of people do have to survive with these things but um that is the whole purpose of this channel and um a lot of well the doctors the doctors think that a lot of times depression has a lot to do with people feeling like they're not achieving things that they want to achieve in life so most of the time they battle with a mental illness or <clears throat> go through different types of whatever mental illness there are but um, I want to say partial of that is true but most of it most I would assume has a lot to do with life and what the person is dealing with in life and what's going on in their life um a lot of times well in many situations in my life i'm dealing with things that i don't want to deal with i'm um doing things that i don't want to do um around people I don't want to be around sometimes and I don't know if it's just a female thing that we feel like we have to please everybody or we have to do things out of our comfort zone because of somebody else or we feel like we have to tolerate things that other people want us to tolerate but I'm here to say today is going to stop with me because I get so frustrated and so aggravated dealing with human beings that I don't want to deal with, being around human beings I don't want to be around with, doing things that I don't want to do, taking advice from people that doesn't work for me because of somebody else or making somebody else happy or pleasing somebody else and, that, and I'm, t I'm done and I'm tired. And most of the time, us females, we do that. We do just that. Um, <clears throat> I think I wrote it down or I said something about it in a video that most of us females, okay, I, I wrote it on social media, a person that we really want, we will alter ourselves to fit that person. And we may not like some of the stuff that they do. We may not like stuff, some of the stuff they say. We may not like a lot of things about a person, but because we really want to be with that person, we'll find ourselves doing any and everything just to please that person. And is it really worth that? Is it really worth altering yourself to fit a person that probably is no good for you in the first place? But because you really want to be with this person, you're doing whatever you have to do to be with that person. Is it really worth it? <clears throat> Another thing that I said was compromising. Compromising is an absolutely, totally different um, thing from turning and acting and becoming somebody you do not want to be. That's a whole different thing. Uh, a lot of people mistake compromising for changing themselves and who they are to fit another person's wants and needs or to feel like we, we have to alter ourselves to be who this person wants. You feel me? Like, we don't have to change anything about us. We are who we are. And I'm not saying that being a bad person 
uh, cursing the person out, being disrespectful. I'm not saying that that in any shape or form or fashion is cool and it's okay to do that. I'm not at all saying that 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 is okay to be that type of person, an evil, wicked person. That's not at all what I'm saying. But I'm saying like you're okay for example you're you're smoking now because you're with a person that smokes you're drinking now because you're with a person that drinks you're wearing all types of of clothing that you do not desire to wear but because this man is attractive or looking at these women that wear all type of half-fitted clothes or whatever it is you're changing yourself because you want this person to like you or be with you or love you. And so you do whatever you have to do to fit that that desire that he wants or she wants. Um, and it goes vice versa. It goes for men and women. But I really want to speak to the women. We need to stop doing that. We need to stop altering ourselves to fit a person that may not be any good for us. If this person is any good for you, he will love you for who you are. And and if you change, it will be changed because you want to change. For example, I I want to lose weight and um I want to have a certain body shape. That's my desire. That's what I desire. I desire that. Like that that's what I desire to have a specific ideal weight and a specific ideal body shape. But that's for me. That's me. I want to change that about myself. I don't want to do it because of someone else wanting me to do it or trying to please anybody in the world. That's not at all why I'm doing it. <clears throat> so, ladies, change because you want to change. Do things because you want to do it. And, and don't care about what people have to say. Like a lot of outside people feel like they know what you're supposed to do and there is no specific book there's so no specific notes or anything like that in the world that says you have to be something because that's what you have to be or because it's in the law of whatever that you have to be that way you can be do say act any way you desire any way you, that you desire but know this anytime you act do say whatever you say please expect expect people to form their opinions expect people to judge you expect people to say things to you in the way that you act say do whatever it is so if you for example if you go out here acting acting um unrespectful to yourself as a woman you will have those judgments on you being on the way that you act and and go about life as a unrespectful female if you go out here as a respectful female you will have people to comment and judge you on a respectful female I, uh, a respectful female person um personal view that's what people will see you as. So be who you want to be and do the things that you want to do, but don't have any regrets on the things that you do. Um, never regret what you do. If you feel like you should do it, do it. I've done something that I felt like I should do and I've done it and I don't feel any regrets. I don't feel bad for it. You know, um, it's just like a, 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 a growth type of thing. Like, I, I wasn't expecting what the answer or whatever the response that I got. But it's okay. It is okay. I've done something that I felt like I should do. And I don't feel any regrets about it. <clears throat> and um, live your life like you want to live your life. If you want to move 20 times um, within a year, if you want to... If you want to start your own business, you do that. If you want to change up your wardrobe or change up how you dress or anything, do it. If that's what you feel like you should do. I'm not saying do, do anything that is not respectful of yourself. 
but do things on a positive note that makes you feel good that you feel no regrets for doing and and who cares about what the world say and and for the females a lot of men always try to make you feel like you can't do such things and you can't listen to them you can't listen to men from a woman's point of view or you can't you can't take advice from a man from a woman's point of view i mean i don't know if i'm saying that right but you can't take always take turn that chicken for me turn that chicken over for me but you can't um close the door too you can't listen to a man tell a woman what she is supposed to do or what she's not supposed to do because men you all get judged and you all get talked about differently from a woman a woman gets tore down for every little teeny thing that we do and you can't tell us what we're supposed to do or what we should do or what we shouldn't do because you are a man you can't tell a woman what she's supposed to do and what she has to do and what she needs to do I, I can't I can't stand that I can't stand that for somebody to tell me what I'm supposed to do when I'm an adult and clearly I can make decisions just like you can so men you're you're you need to judge and and make decisions from a male's aspect and let us females make decisions from a woman aspect and I feel like a lot of, of us women are always doing something for a man I, and I really truly feel like that and I'm I'm on the same boat I'm on the same boat I used to do a lot of things for a for the person that I used to love at one point like for real I used to do a lot of things that I didn't like to do just to fit and please him and I had to learn that it is in situations like that you have to either compromise or separate your ways because if y'all both can't meet in the middle what's the point another thing that I feel like needs to be talked about is that us women lose ourselves in the fact of a relationship wanting to be the best that we could be for a man and forgetting ourselves in the in the process we can be all that we can be for a man but what what are we becoming and what are we what what is the greatest that we can be for ourselves like we want to be the most sexual or the most in tune with our men but we can't think of what we want to be for ourselves like what goals do you want to achieve, achieve for yourself as a woman, as an independent woman? What do you want to be? Even if you're in a relationship, even if you're married, you still have to think about what it is that you desire to be. You work so hard to become so that you don't lose yourselves. So you, so you don't lose the independent you. You have to also stand out even in the relationship. You also have to stand out. You also have to have things that you achieve, goals that you reach, things that you do. Even though you're in a relationship, you still have to stand out at the end of the day as well. You have to stand out as well. You have to know what you would do if you wasn't in that situation. If you wasn't in a marriage, if you wasn't in a relationship. What are you going to do as an independent woman and make your stamps? Yes, we want to remember and and work with our spouse, our partner. But also at the end of the day, everybody has to stand individually. We have to also create some sense of foundation on our own. So that at the end of the day, you have something to land on, build on, grow on, and move forth from there as well. When you go to school, you cannot write or or you cannot write or take a test for you and your partner, if you get what I'm saying. You can't you can't go take a test for you and him. And he can't go do the same thing for you. If you're trying to work at getting a master's or bachelor's 
a doctoring, associate's degree, you have to independently go and do that for yourselves. So you cannot lose yourself in a relationship to the point where you're not establishing your own independence either. You're in the relationship, but there's also some sense of independence as well. My bad. But there's some sense of independence as well. And both of y'all want to establish some sense of independence so that y'all y'all can stand out. But also, when it's time to stand together, y'all can stand together as well. So, don't lose yourself. And a lot of times, I do find myself losing myself because I'm so focused on things that I'm not pleased with and things I'm not happy with. But at the end of the day, I have to snap out of it and push myself to do things to do things and 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 remind myself that yes i have to also stand on my own two feet as well like it's not all about a relationship or or being with someone and and pleasing them i have to please me too i have to do me too and and go out here and make decisions that you want to make whether it, it makes you feel good or bad, do it and, and learn from it and move forward. Don't hold, don't hold, what I want to say, don't make yourself feel bad to the point where you're lost in that one decision that made you make you feel that way. Feel bad, have your pity party, have your sad, your cry moments. And get out of it and move forward. Because I was there too. Where I would sit there and cry and whine. And, and all that about a stupid decision. A stupid decision I made. Or a decision that I did not feel good about. And it, it's already over. It's the next day. It's the next week. It's the next month. And I'm still stuck on it. It happened. It's over. Move forward. So I don't know if I was all over the place <clears throat> and I try to stay on topic when I'm when I'm talking about something specifically but that's what I wanted to say is that 2018 has come in and 2018 is about to head out and 2019 will be here before you even know it so let's not keep going and each year saying what we're going to do what we we gonna do this when 20 this this come in start now start now who cares about the year it's about the now moment it's about what you're doing today what are you doing today today and stop allowing people to make you feel bad stop allowing females stop allowing men to make you feel bad don't don't let them make you feel bad for what you do But also stop making the same old careless stupid mistakes. Learn from the first two, if it takes two mistakes. And I don't, personally I don't believe in mistakes, but okay. Learn from the first two decision making that you did. And and get over it. And move forward. It shouldn't take you 50 times to make that mistake or make that decision over and over again before you realize it's not a good decision. Okay, start now. Stop waiting to the new year or waiting for a reason to do something. There, like I like I said the other day, there is no good moment to say to spill good or bad news. You either just gonna say it, you're gonna let them know whenever you can, or you don't. But it, it's it's not, it's no moment to be like okay. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Just start. Just start. Even if you stop, start again. Just do it. Do it. Don't make any excuses. And and motivate yourself daily. Daily. Motivate yourself daily. I haven't been motivated, inspired 
for quite some time now. That's why you haven't seen any videos from me. But growth, growth, that's where I want to start. I want to start growing and, and expanding in different parts of my life. And I always keep saying that, but I'm not doing it. So it's time to put into action. Say it and start. And daily, read it and start. Read it, acknowledge it, and go ahead and start. Don't wait. Don't wait for somebody to give you confirmation. Read, read your goals and, and set your deadlines. Pray about it. Always pray about it. Always keep God in the midst of everything you do. Every day I feel like you should talk to God. Every single day. Don't leave him out of anything. Thank him in advance for all that he is doing and will do and, and will be doing. And just go, 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 go. Don't worry about anybody else. Because um, entrepreneurs always say the important things will always get done. The, um, not the important thing. But the things that you have to do will always get done. But the all important things should be in priority. It should be something you work on every day. So cooking, cleaning, making sure the kids are right, you're going to have to do that regardless. 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 Every day, you're going to have to do that. You're, you know you're going to have to do that. But the important things is something you need to work on today, now. Get it done now. 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 So that's all I wanted to say on here. And this video is for the ladies. Um, I will be getting back to my other videos once I figure out what topics I want to talk about. But I want to start making it like a little talk show or whatever. So I want to start getting like my table and my backdrop right and my mic and stuff right. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel... And hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a video or go live on YouTube. And I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. And ladies, we need to stand together, not be jealous of one another, and work together. Work together, stand together, and stop the jealousy. Help lift one another up. Until next time, I'm out.